right off the bat, here's a trigger warning for poorly drawn blood, uh, mentions of gore, mentions of porn, mentions of child porn, mentions of feral porn, um, porn, yeah, and, uh, mentions of gore and just stuff like that. Yeah, this video is not scripted. Oop, and I forgot to mention mentions of sexual assault. Hi, so today we're going to be talking about the absolute dog water. That is the hater community. Keep in mind, this video is not scripted. So, if you're innocent and naive like I once was, you might ask, Erm, what is the hater community? And to that I say, the hater community is a community of people mostly inspired by Buds for Buddies who make cartoon gotcha life gore of things they dislike. I know, very very weird, very interesting. Um, these people are mostly children, by the way, like 10, 11, on the rare occasion 13. These people are mostly children. Just keep that in mind. So you might be asking, why would children want to make gotcha life gore? And to that I say buds for buddies. I'm not going to dig into who that is. Don't look it up either. But she was a big shot back in 2021. Had a pretty large audience of people, mostly children, like I said. And she abused cartoon-drawn animals. It was very weird. And also she went as far as to make feral porn and child porn of her siblings and her pets. But um, we don't talk about that. We will not talk about Butts for Buddies today. Because her prime was in 2021 and she fell off. I wholeheartedly think she fell off. But, but anyways, end up talking about Butts for Buddies. We're talking about the hater community. So, these children saw how much views Buds for Buddies was get, and probably how much money she was making. She was making that. She was making those dollar bills. And so they were like, I want to do that too. And so they did. Except they started using different species of animals, maybe foxes or rabbits. I think I even saw raccoons. I think I saw tigers once. But they were using that. And some people even decided to use fandom characters. Which is how this fandom hate community all started. I think... Um... I don't know how the fandom one started, but I know that a very popular one was one Ones for Ones, who was in the object show community and also made really concerning videos about sexually assaulting objects, one of which was a child. Ooh, edgy. So, yeah. I don't know how the whole fandom hate community got started, but I am pretty sure that um, One for Ones was a big part of it. Going back and adding in, there was also one with doors. I remember that now. They abused doors monsters for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, um, yeah. So that's kind of how the whole fandom hate community got it got got started and now there's an entire <laughs> hate train of different fandoms there's dandy's world i'm pretty sure there's uh even freaking solar balls how the fuck do you abuse planets man those are planets you can't just smack a planet over the head with a metal pole how are you gonna do that to jupiter that's a gas giant that the pole would just go right through Okay, but this community, it's not exact. no, it is harmful, because exposing children to gore and sometimes even porn isn't a good thing, 
really not a good thing. No, you don't want to expose little 11 year olds to gore. That's not, mm -mm, no, mm -mm. especially Buds for Buddies, but this video is not about Buds for Buddies. But yeah, we don't want to be exposing little kids to gore and porn. That's not good. But honestly, most of this community is just little kids who who get a dopamine rush off of uh, 8 likes and 100 views and 28 subs. So, you know. But um, still, I don't think that this should be normalized. And I think that we just need to stop looking at these certain accounts because this can be genu genuinely harmful because if more kids see this and get exposed to albeit poorly drawn but still counts gore then that's going to be a problem because you know children shouldn't be looking at gore honestly that's really all i have to say just stop giving these kids attention because that's ultimately what they want and um i get the feeling of having a video blow up but this is not the way to go bud this is not the way to go bucko not not the way to go buckaroo not it buckaroni but anyways that's all i have to say goodbye